He's a libertine and a dirty pretty thing, so who better to discover the next big indie legend than Carl Barrett? He's a judge on the Intel Unsigned Bands Comp, which has just launched a nationwide search for new talent. Brings back memories for Mr Barrett. Yeah, they're certainly the most exciting days, the glory days, when you're starting out and you're taking drinks on the bus and getting paid nothing and all that classic cliche stuff. But I mean, uh, yeah, those are the glory days, and then you know, when you do get a deal, you just start worrying. So I'm going to help a band start worrying. I think you just don't sleep for days when you start out in the band, and it's like it's not through drugs or anything like that. It's just through just noisy people. So it's not that glamorous. At the end of the tour, you're like. Right. Of course, Carl's first band, The Libertines, split after just two albums when bandmate Pete Doherty was jailed for burgling his flat. The reconciled pals were planning to write a stage musical about the group's turbulent past, but with Pete banged up again, looks like that's on hold. It's not looking as likely at the minute, really, because uh, as soon as Pete gets back on the scene, I'm going to be uh, running out of time. So, I um, mean... Maybe, maybe sometimes, I don't know, I can't say right now. Not to worry, Dirty Pretty Things have their second album out soon, and Carl's got his side project, The Chavs. Yeah. It's, uh, but no, we're, we're, we're going to do something more serious with um, Jamie Faxon and Tim Burgess. And uh, yeah, we're going to try and do something, we've got some ideas. Well, Chavs gigs, oh, they've, they've always been terrible. We never rehearsed, we've just played live a few times. It's usually been regrettable, but it normally goes under the radar. But I think we're going to try and do something proper. We all want to. If you fancy yourself as a chav or a libertine one day, you can enter the unsigned search by uploading a track to www.intel.co.uk/studio.